this video is to uh, tell you a bit by, about my experiences with uh, the Magnificat anemone, uh, Heracactus Magnificat or Heracactus ritteri, whichever you prefer, and some people call them. Um, this is my D&D &D 1500 aquarium, been set up 18 months now, uh, doing quite well after one or two setbacks, but there we go. Uh, well these in a while grow to around about three feet in diameter but in an aquarium you can expect it to get no more than a foot or so maybe a bit lower well, as you can see this particular one is like in plenty of water movement and I feed it about once a week I believe in feeding them some people don't but uh, I think they do fire better you fare better with a piece of land fish, a piece of uh, shrimp or mussel, something like that. Now this is the third, third manipulator I've, uh, I've ever kept. Um, previous two, when I moved out, broke, uh, broke tanks down. Uh, they were moved on with the, the rest of the stuff. Now you can see from the tank it looks quite blue. On camera and a lot of people these days keep the tank with a, a fair bit of blue bias however I have found that the magnificent enemy or the one certainly the ones I've had benefit from a lot more daylight spectrum that's something in the region of six six and a half thousand K of Kelvin as you can see there, I've got two clowns, which hosts which are hosted by the enemy. These are uh, perks. Well, not perks. They're actually ocellaris, common clowns. Although perks do obviously uh, go into them and uh, make their homes there. Now, I mentioned about lighting. And you can see there, even if I move back how much yellower or orange or whiter if you prefer the light is on this particular enemy and that's because immediately above it I have positioned this little light well this is a Lumini Aster F20 Nano this has a colour temperature of 6,500 Kelvin and it comes with two lenses. It comes with a 60 degree lens or a 180 degree lens. Uh, as I'm using it as a spot mainly to illuminate the NEM, I've chosen the 60 degrees. Now I bought this particular one off Amazon UK for £38 on offer, uh, even cheaper than eBay UK. Well, moving along, it does come with a rosary dimmer, so it is dimmable, and it's currently only on about half its strength. It's been on now for just over a week, and it's definitely made an improvement to the look of the NEM and prior to me putting this on a couple of days before or after they got the enemy didn't have this particular light and the enemy wasn't doing wasn't doing that well it's doing all right but it wasn't as why I would like to have seen now it stayed exactly where to put it I've put it against these barnacle shells and the back glass and it's immediately stuck to the back glass where it stayed and there's every reason to believe it will stay there due to the fact I've got this little LED spotlight shining directly on it. So I'll just move back a bit more. So my previous an enemy, first one I had was under a 250 watt daylight 
metal halide light that was from some quite some years ago uh, the, and then maybe before this one that never did that well again until I put one of these little lights on so these are well worth construing if you get a Magnifica and it's maybe not doing as well as you would hope perhaps you need to provide light of a different spectrum now the Magnifica are often found very close to the water surface some are found a bit deeper it's true 12 feet or so maybe more but a lot of them are collected near the water surface and this is I believe why they do better if they have something in the daylight, daylight spectrum uh, illuminating them well, I probably will experiment a bit more this little light's only been on now just over a week and a half uh, but it certainly made seems to have made the improvement to the NEM now I've fed this twice since I've got it actually I think you no know, three times I've fed it once with a small piece of fish which it took and twice with two sm small pieces of prawn again which it took so that's the magnificent enemy they do them very well anybody has any questions wants to know more feel free to add your comments to the bottom and uh, to me one of the better enemies once you get them settled